does the interest start? The day we close or in six months? Is that a negotiable thing? Sure. Right. So if I was going to write the note, I might just say, I might just have that language in there, interest, uh, interest to start six months after the day that we close. Huh? Well, you know, hopefully they're reading their documents. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, you, you should always be into full disclosure, but yeah, I'd say, look, this, we're not going to be paying interest or owe interest for the first six months. Okay. We're not going to, there won't be interest. And then in six months, when we get it up and going fine, that as a, that's a very easy negotiation if you're dealing with motivated sellers and it's very easy for sellers to be motivated when you have the ability to solve a problem that other people don't have. And a lot of times that, that ability is just being able to hand somebody $7,000. That ability is very powerful. And when they say cash is king, it's, for, it's because of this. Cash is king because people that know how to yield it or wield it, wield it are going to make the money. Okay. What's your lowest acceptable amount for a return? It's six, seven, eight, nine, eight. I wouldn't buy notes like that. I mean, if if everything I do, I make a lot of money on. Yeah, I don't do it. I would do that. Yeah, I'd make. Yeah, absolutely. Now, one thing: there's two variables in that. Um, there's a, more than two. The risk and time. Like we get an opportunity to loan money out, and somebody like I have private lenders that will that have money. They'll give me all the money I want at seven or eight percent. So if I can loan $100,000 to Jason and he wants it at 8% and I'm paying my guy 8% and I get two points, it's not worth it to me. $2,000 to be responsible for that loan, $2,000 to do all the due diligence we got to do with it, $2,000 to talk to Jason 20 times, I'm not interested. But if on the other hand, Jason said, well, I'll borrow it at 12%. That's a whole different ball game because now I'm making 4%, right? On the 4%. So every 100,000, I'm making 4,000 per year. If it's 200,000, I'm making 8,000 plus my points. If it's another two or four, so two or four or 5,000. So I can make 10, 12, $14,000 just by brokering that transaction. And it might, Jason, now he's experienced, but somebody that's not experienced, that could be a good deal for them because now they got me watching their back and making sure they're not screwing up. But if a person's experienced and they take that deal, I think it's a mistake on their part. But they still might. I mean, I, I've got a, I got uh, a people that are buying houses in Beaumont right now, a couple of buying houses in Beaumont, and they're willing to give me half the deal if I'll get the money to the table. So why wouldn't you do that? As long as you can control the outcome. And that's, that's not automatic either. Nothing's automatic. You know, you got to figure out how to control the outcome. And it's, it's hard, hard to make other people do what you want them to do. They just kind of just run with it. And that's a problem with the kind of, you want to work with people that take the ball and run with it, but you want them to run the right direction. And, and a lot of times those people that take the ball and run with it, they're, they're going the wrong direction. So they got to be, they, you know, they got to be coachable.